Hey guys, what's up? It's JR Cuber, and in this video, I have another unboxing from the cubicle.us. In here is the final puzzle uh, from this cubicle package, and it's a non WCA puzzle, so I'm pretty excited about it. So let's go ahead and check it out. So this is from Fangxi Lim Cube, and it's called the Venom Cube. So we will see what that is. Whoa, that is weird. Okay, uh, here we go. This is a pretty cool puzzle, uh, just from the looks of it. So it looks like this is a two by two. Um, you can kind of see the two by two ball on the inside, uh, and then it's got these uh, kind of outer edges that can move like this as you can see and everything's kind of hollowed out So you can see all the way through it. This is cool. So here are the two by two turns uh, Everything moves pretty well. I'm surprised um, I was kind of worried that this puzzle might have kind of have a hard time turning which as you guys can see you you kind of have to hold it correctly um, in order to turn it because if you put too much pressure on any one piece uh, these pieces here will kind of move so this basically has two solving elements you have to solve the two by two on the inside um, because as you guys can see there's these colors for the two by two corners here that are visible because these pieces are hollow and then you also have to of course solve these outer edges I don't think it's gonna be that difficult uh, unless we get some kind of weird parody or something like that uh, uh, it should be a pretty straightforward solve. I think the coolest thing with this puzzle is just how it looks. It's really cool. It reminds me a lot of some of those Oscar Van Deventer puzzles uh, where he just makes a certain puzzle that has all the pieces kind of hollowed out and it looks really cool. But this cube just kind of reminds me of some of those puzzles. This one's also not that expensive. It's about $28. So not too bad for a cool, really cool looking non WCA puzzle. So let's go ahead and give this a scramble and see if we can go about solving it. So I'm just going to go ahead and start with a uh, pretty basic 2x2 two two scramble first uh, just to get things moving and we'll go ahead and do that and then from there I'm gonna just turn every single edge if I can um, and then from there I think I'll just kind of randomly do 2x2 two two turns mixed with edge turns so we'll just kind of do random movements um, overall, even though, uh, you know, you kind of have to hold it in a certain way to do these two by two turns, the whole thing feels rather sturdy, uh, which is good. Um, wouldn't want a puzzle like this to feel like it's going to fall apart. Um, so that's pretty good. Okay. So I think that's a pretty good scramble. Um, so I think the strategy for this is going to be probably to solve the internal two by two first and then just move around all of these pieces here uh, into their correct positions. I think that is a pretty good way to go about it. So we're just going to ignore everything on the outside and just look at the internal colors, which I know is kind of hard for you to see. So if you can't exactly follow along, I totally get that. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and go through this. It's just going to be a normal two by two solve. But right now I'm just making a white layer. Um, trying to just do this, you know, simply not do anything too fancy, but there we go. There's a white layer. So if you just ignore all these outer pieces and just look on the inside, you can kind of see where that white layer is. So then we'll just get all the yellow pieces up, which just got to do this. Uh, okay, and then we just have to switch these two. So just do J perm. Um, like so. Almost. <laughs> Um, there we go. Okay. All right. So our inner two by two is done. So I think the way we're going to going to have to place these pieces is, uh, well, I guess I'll just show you. Basically, let's say we need to take this white and um, green piece here and put it with the white and green edges, which are going to be over here. If you look inside, um, all we have to do is just move this over, turn it around and then move that back. And now that's done. Um, this one needs to move kind of adjacently over. So I think what we might need to do is uh, do a setup where we have where we rotate one of the corners, 
put it in place and then rotate the corners back, which now as I'm thinking about it, it would probably be easier to just match up all of these kind of edge pieces with their corners first and then solve it like a two by two. So I think we may have jumped the gun a bit on doing that. I'm gonna go ahead and just try and do that even though it's going to break uh, the two by two we just solved. That didn't take long to do. I think we're still on the right track, um, hopefully. We'll see how this goes. I already got this piece in, so let's go ahead and get the piece next to it. It's not gonna be this one because this one's already solved. It's gonna come from down here. So we'll just rotate this over, rotate this up, and then rotate that into place. So now this matches. And then we just need the green and red to come here, um, which I think would be here maybe. I don't know if this is actually correct. Um, I think it might be this one. Hold on. No, that's not right. Okay, so it uh, it is this one. We just have to rotate this corner. So let's just rotate this corner then. So then we'll just bring that down and into place. Okay, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and repeat that for the rest of the corners or until something happens where I'm stuck and uh, see if I can figure out how to go from there. I think we should be able to do this basic same process for most of the corners. Uh, we might have problems with the, like the last couple, but we'll see. Okay, so we've got one layer done. Um, which is good progress. Not sure how this next layer is gonna go, um, but it probably will be a bit more tedious in this layer because with this layer I had more free pieces to kind of rotate corners around and not mess things up, but now I gotta be a bit more careful. Um, so we'll see how this goes. Okay, we've got two corners on the top done now. So now we just have these two left. Um, yeah, like I said, hopefully this goes okay. I don't, I can't envision anything going like too terribly wrong, um, but we'll see, I guess. Um, but we're getting pretty close. Okay, so this corner is done now. It just needs to be oriented, but now we have this corner and all three of these are wrong. So um, I'm not sure how this is going to work. I think basically uh, the way I'm gonna go about doing this is I'm gonna take one of these pieces out that needs to be solved, rotate the corner until the correct position is, is underneath and then flip it back and kind of just do that until it's done. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this in real time just to see if it works. Um, so we'll go ahead and take this piece which needs to go here and, f and turn it down. And then we're gonna rotate this corner, um, which actually that will rotate this corner too. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do is move this out of the way. So I'm gonna move this over here. So I gotta remember my setup moves really carefully, but let's rotate this corner. Okay, so now we'll move this over, turn this up, move this back like that, rotate this corner again. Looks like we need to rotate it one more time. Okay, there we go, do that. Oh man, that is awesome. Okay, now everything's done, we just have to orient these two corners. So we are pretty much there. So let's just go ahead and go for it. I'm just doing this the long way just because I wanna make sure I don't mess anything up. Um, so there we go, and we'll rotate this over and Bada bing, bada boom, we're done. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, there we go. Okay, so overall, I think that only took me about like 20 minutes, a bit less than 20 minutes. So not too bad of a solve. I know I didn't explain my full like solving process in the video, but if you are stuck on that last step, uh, hopefully that last bit from the solve will help you. The rest should be pretty intuitive, but um, yeah, I was able to figure it out pretty easily, honestly, and I'm really not the best at figuring out puzzles. So, uh, but overall, definitely a pretty fun cube. It looks really cool. It's going to look awesome in the collection. Um, so definitely be sure to check it out if you're, you know, you want a fun little challenge. It is kind of awkward to turn. As you guys saw, you kind of have to palm it. You can't finger trick it or anything, obviously. Um, you know, if I try to finger trick it and like line everything up. Like it's, it's barely going to work, but overall still a really fun puzzle. So I'll leave the link down in the description below as always, if you want to check it out. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Thanks of course to the cubicle for sending me this cube for free and for sponsoring the video. Anyways, if you guys like this video, make sure to hit that like button, turn notifications and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.